Hey guys, I'm Tech from Tech Driven, and today we're going to talk about this monster. This is not a regular ironing board. This is a professional heated and air vacuum ironing board, which a lot of you asked me to review. So here it is. Hey guys, before we get started, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So what we have is a professional heated and vacuum ironing board. I purchased this roughly a little over seven years ago and still going strong. And as you notice, you know, this particular board, it's quite heavy duty. I mean, I can really put some weight on it. It's wider than normal boards. It's, I'm not sure if it's longer or not. It comes with this rack where you can put your ironing on here. So Reliable makes professional gear for cleaners and home use. However, you know, they're not cheap because this is a quite professional gear. So what's special about this particular board and why I bought it? So Reliable makes two models. The older model was CAD1 and CAD8. So this is the CAD8 model and the new model numbers are 500 VB and 550 VB. So this is the 550 VB. The main difference between those two, as far as I know, is that the 550 VB has a larger motor, which is more powerful, and the 550 model has slightly smaller motor, which is slightly less powerful. The price reflects that. But you have to consider that the 500 is quieter than the 550 because it has a smaller motor. So as you can tell, this board is quite big. It's definitely on the heavier side and yet still fully foldable. This rack right here for the iron folds nicely. And of course, you can drop it down even further. The maximum height size is actually three feet, 36 inches. So it also has some racks on the bottom so you can put your garments or your clothes on it. And of course, we use this side to put hangers. So let's talk about the main features of this board. So as you can see, it's quite easy to use. All you gotta do is flip that on switch and the power's on. When you flip the power switch, the ironing board will begin to heat up. Because of its positioning and long cables, you can rotate the ironing board any way you particularly like. So once you flip the switch, the iron is on. I can already feel it that it's getting warm. Even if your board gets wet from all the steam, it will dry it out because it's constantly warm and constantly drying it out. The big benefit of having a vacuum ironing board is that when you steam, I turn it on. It sucks most of the air, so as you can see, None of the steam gets out and blows on you, so you don't get burnt. Not to mention, it goes through the fabric and nicely uh, irons the garment. So when I have a long garment, I can take it, look at that, and sucks right to the table. It will not move. I can even, look at that, stretch it out right here on the table because it keeps the suction, it keeps it in place, which is a huge benefit. So the really big benefits of this ironing board is that it's big, it's quite heavy duty, and of course, if you need to rotate it, you can do so. You don't have to worry about it folding it on its own because it's quite sturdy, and you get a lot of real estate to work with. However, there are some small downsizes of, of this ironing, and let me talk about it now. So as you can see, this is not the cover that comes originally with this ironing board. It actually, it's right under it. We have a custom sheet that goes over it which reduces the section a little bit. That's why we went with the bigger motor. However, it keeps the, the cover clean. Because as you can imagine, uh, you introduce steam and a vacuum, and of course, all the dust from clothing and all the stuff gets right on it and sticks to it. So you will have to buy a second cover ideally or wash them regularly. So this is an alternative. We made a couple of those covers and we just slide onto it. With this big motor, it doesn't make an issue. So if you're doing a lot of ironing, I do recommend that you get a second cover for it because you will have to wash them uh, regularly because they do get dirty. I will have the links in the description if you're interested, of course. If not, you can go directly to Reliable website. They have it as well, or you can get it from Amazon. But with Amazon, what's nice, you get free shipping, prime shipping, not to mention. That's why I'm letting you guys know. So let's take a look inside. So what's inside? Let me peel the custom cover that we made, of course. I would highly recommend that you get the spare one if you don't have one. 
or make your own. Of course, you have the padding on the bottom, and with Pupil, we can see the heating element. As you can see here, after years and years of abuse, there's no rust. There's some in the heating element rust, but it's under it. You know, there's small spots, but 95 or more percent of it is still in like new condition, which is quite nice. Nice big heating element across the entire board. Of course, when we turn it on, this is the vacuum right here. So this rack is fully foldable and also with two screws you can remove it at any time if you, it's in your way, for example. We usually don't use it because it, with its length it fits perfectly in our corner. So it's fully foldable and we use this for our hangers and you can still use some garment. So right on the bottom we have our on on off switch, we have a big motor and of course depending on which model you get you're going to get a smaller or bigger motor. Did I fold this? I don't think I did. So of course it's fully foldable and it folds just like a regular iron and it extends just like a regular iron. Except Boom, voila, back to water. One thing I want to add is also if you have a steam station of any kind and uh, this iron board, you may want to have a dedicated outlet for this particular setup because the board draws a lot of current and of course the steam station draws a lot of current and on a 10, 15 amp breaker, those tend to work okay. However, when you add anything else besides the iron board and the steam station, it's very likely you're gonna trip a breaker. So try, if you can, to have a dedicated outlet just specifically for that setup. So if you do a lot of ironing or you're a professional, this is a must board that you should get. It is quite an expensive side. Uh, regarding which model you should get, it really depends on you. Uh, for those that do extremely a lot or are professionals, I would highly recommend the bigger motor. It is a little louder, but you get a lot more suction power versus if you do perhaps less, the smaller model will do it, the C81 or the 500 VB. But overall, I am extremely happy with this iron board. We had it for seven, over seven years, still going strong. So I do really highly recommend this board. You can get it through Amazon for my affiliate links in the description, or you can go to a reliable website directly and order it from them. Whichever you choose, it's up to you. You will not miss that you spend all that money on it for a solid peace of mind. So I hope you like this video. Make sure you click like, subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.